According to Admiral Byrd's diary, he fuels up for a flight early in the morning. The weather is clear and mechanically the plane checks out. At 8.15, at an altitude of 2,300 feet, he checks in. Zero eight fifteen hours. Radio check with base camp. Situation normal. At 10 after 9, he notices a color pattern in the snow. Nothing extreme, but he circles the area to get a closer look. He makes visual contact with camp and radios in his findings. Then his instruments start to act strange. He writes that both his compasses are gyrating so much that he can't even use them. So he uses the sun to navigate and maintains a visual of camp. He reports that his controls are feeling sluggish. He's concerned about the wings icing up. There's a little ice, but no indication of a problem, so he continues flying toward what he perceives as a mountain range. 0949 hours. 29 minutes elapsed flight time from the first sighting of the mountains. It is no illusion. They are mountains and consisting of a small range that I have never seen before. He crosses the mountain range and descends toward what he describes as a green valley with a small river running through it. There should be no green valley below. Something is definitely wrong and abnormal here. We should be over ice and snow. To the port side are great forests growing on the mountain slopes. Our navigation instruments are still spinning. The gyroscope is oscillating back and forth. He drops down a bit and circles back for a closer look. He reports the green as being moss or tight grass. The light seems different here. He can see the ground easily, but he can no longer see the sun. Now this starts to worry him because he's using the sun to navigate, but he gets distracted by something he didn't expect. On the green valley below, a large animal is grazing. It appears to be an elephant. No, it looks more like a mammoth. This is incredible, yet there it is. Decrease altitude to 1,000 feet and take binoculars to better examine the animal. It is confirmed. It is definitely a mammoth-like animal. Report this to base camp. Admiral Byrd flies over green pastures that stretch for miles, and he's so amazed by what he's seeing, it takes him almost 30 minutes to realize it's not cold anymore. Frost on his forward window is gone. Same with the bits of ice that were on the wings. He removes his gloves. The window of the canopy is warm to the touch. He records an external air temperature of 74 degrees Fahrenheit. His instruments are now back online, but his radio is out. And remember, in the official report, Admiral Byrd was out of radio contact for three hours. So he flies for another hour over what looks to be a countryside or a pasture. On the horizon, he sees the impossible, a large, shining city. The plane shudders. Admiral Byrd grabs the controls, but they're not responding. He notices the plane feels light and buoyant. Then, on both sides of the plane, strange aircraft are rapidly closing in. They're disc-shaped and seem to be radiating light, and somehow they're running completely silent. Now, thinking this is now a really good time to head back, Admiral Byrd tries the controls again. No luck. The plane's engine suddenly cuts out, but somehow continues flying, controlled by some unseen force. The craft are right up alongside his plane now, close enough that Admiral Byrd can see markings. In that instant, his wonder turns to terror. The markings are swastikas.